Hello everyone, it's Sandra, and welcome to today's video. I just got my Sephora VAB sale order in, so I thought it'd be fun to just do an old school haul. I wanted to share what I got from the spring Sephora sale because it's all really good stuff that I'm very excited about, and I was very restrained and mindful shopping the Sephora sale this year. I didn't even film a recommendations video because as I sat down to kind of put a list together, it was just too similar to the previous Sephora VAB sale recommendations videos that I had done. So I decided to just skip it. And in practice this year, when I shopped the spring Sephora sale, it was all about restocking stuff that I love, that I was out of, and it wasn't so much about getting new stuff to try because I've just been really, really happy with what I already have. There's one new thing that I got to try, so I'll be getting into that in a little bit. But in terms of my top favorites, recommendations, for complexion, the CL Skin Tint is still such, such a favorite. And I know last time it sold out in a lot of the shades. So if you can get your hands on this, if you've been meaning to try it, it would be a good time to try it. I use this in shade number four. Absolutely love this. The Givenchy Prisma Libre Concealer in shade N250. Still one of my favorite all over concealers. I don't like this under the eyes, but it's a great medium coverage, blurring, flexible, luminous concealer for all over the face. Still love this. For under the eyes, the House Labs Concealer is still my ride or die. I use this in shade 21. And then the CL Liquid Blushes. I love these so much and I cannot recommend them enough. I have, I have them in three shades and I really love mixing them too. Today I'm wearing the shade January, which is this really, really pretty pink shade mixed with June which is the perfect blush bronzer shade. And if you watch my last video that I did, I show you what they, both of these shades look like on. So absolutely love these, wearing these two mixed on my cheeks today. If I want something a bit more toned down, a bit more subtle, the shade Kirsty is the perfect muted neutral blush. You can't go wrong. Honestly, these three shades are just my favorite kinds of blush shades. Each shade looks amazing on its own. You can mix them together and kind of customize and tweak your own blush color. I just love this formula. It's so easy to use, easy to blend. You can blend it out with a sponge. You can dot it on your cheeks and go in with a beauty blender or with a brush. You can dot it on the back of your hand first, load up your brush with the pigment, and then stipple it on the cheeks. Love it. And then the only one new product that I've really, really been loving ever since it launched, and I would recommend trying it if you tend to like the same types of colors and textures that I do, and it's the Merit Matte Lipstick in the shade Classic. That's the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and this, is my, this has been my most worn every day kind of lipstick shade. This color is just the perfect kind of everyday neutral pink for me, and it's just really comfortable. Smoothing, comfortable, easy to build, easy to throw on. So that would be my, my lipstick recommendation. Now let's get into what I actually bought. I was really mindful about my Sephora sale purchases. I did have, I always start with a giant cart with a total that makes me want to cry, and then I just, talk myself out of most of it by the time I hit checkout. And I still really want to try the Prada foundation and the House Labs foundation. Those two are at the top of my wish list, but I told myself I need to use up some foundations that I have that I still love, that I have maybe half the bottle left, a quarter of the bottle left, and I just want to use some stuff up before I dive into a new foundation. I want to use up my Chantecaille Future Skin and my Chanel, what is this called? The Chanel Water Fresh Complexion Touch. So once I use these up, I'll be in the market for a new foundation. Managed to talk myself out of those. I'm so excited that one of my favorite body care brands is at Sephora now, Soft Services. I've been talking about this stuff for the last couple of years. And I restocked on one of my favorite products from them, and it's the Smoothing Solution. 
the Calming Gel Exfoliant for Body. I love this so much, especially with, you know, spring, summer, bare legs season. This is the best body exfoliating product that I've ever tried because it's very efficient and it's also very gentle. It eliminates ingrown hairs. It makes my legs so smooth and so soft. It helps fade pigmentation. You know, sometimes the hair, where we have the hair follicle, at least on my skin, it can be a little bit darker. It can look a bit like strawberry skin and this helps even out the, the pigmentation. This is a clear spreadable gel containing alpha hydroxy acid that helps dissolve buildup of dead skin cells with soothing ingredients that help calm visible irritation. Good for rough and bumpy skin on arms, legs, and hips. Good for keratosis pilaris, discoloration of elbows, knees, underarms, and areas prone to ingrown hairs. And one of the things I really like about this brand, since they're a smaller brand, smaller independent brands are more nimble and they can address customer feedback a lot quicker than some of the larger legacy brands. Case in point, with the smoothing solution, this used to be in an aluminum tube, which was better in terms of recycling, like recyclability, but a lot of people complained that with the aluminum tube, you would open it and, and product would leak out of it. So they've changed the tubing. The tubing is no longer aluminum. It's just this really lightweight, flexible plastic. They've also improved the texture of it. It's um, less sticky. It kind of sinks in quicker. This never bothered me. I, I dealt with the aluminum tube. I would just store it upside down. I dealt with a stickier texture because I would use this in the evening and follow up with body lotion anyway. So the stickiness wasn't really an issue for me, but it is nice that they were able to address those concerns and make the formula more cosmetically elegant and also improve the packaging. So I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited to have this in my life again. If you haven't tried this yet, highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, it's the best body exfoliant, chemical body exfoliant that I've ever tried. It's so, it's just, it's just great. It's great and it's gentle. It's not like blasting you with acid. It's not as strong in terms of actives as the Necessaire body peel, but it's just as effective while being more gentle. And if you are into, if you like a scrub, if you like a physical exfoliant, I also really love the Buffing Bar by Soft Services. I still have backups of those, so I didn't need to restock at this Sephora sale, but for me, the best smoothest legs of my life are I use the buffing bar in the shower just to, to really really exfoliate my skin my legs then I shave I get out of the shower I apply the smoothing solution I let it sink in for a couple minutes then I apply body lotion I go to bed wake up in the morning with soft smooth dolphin legs I also restocked on my favorite luxury bath and body wash the necessaire body wash in the eucalyptus scent Absolutely love this as a bubble bath. Absolutely love this as a shower gel. They now have um, the big bottle in a pump packaging. It used to, again, it used to come in an aluminum bottle that I would just use to refill my smaller squeeze bottle of this. So this is the first time I've bought it with the new pump packaging, but I love this. It smells so good. I really love the earthy, calming, fresh eucalyptus scent. I find it so good year round. My husband loves it too, so restocked on this and I'm happy to have it in my life again. I repurchased the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray in the travel size because I, I always have a travel size bottle of this and I usually just refill it with liquid from the jumbo size bottle that I have so I have it ready when I travel. But last time I traveled, I dropped my Charlotte Tilbury, like the little bottle and it cracked so I needed to restock on a travel size because I can't be without it. A couple more travel products. I love to have these on hand for when I go on vacation. An air dry product for my hair. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Seaweed Air Dry Cream. Beautiful for, you know, if I'm traveling to a hot, humid destination, I don't want to bother with styling my hair. I just put this in my hair let my hair air dry and kind of encourages my natural waves to come out and helps tame frizz. It doesn't, it doesn't weigh my hair down or anything. So 
I like to have this on hand. And then if I want to heat style my hair while I travel, I love the Orbe Royal Blowout Spray. This has some heat protection in it. Again, it doesn't weigh my hair down, it smells amazing, and it's a nice compact bottle to use for travel. And um, this was a little point perk that I thought was interesting, the Kerastase Premier decalcifying system. Thought it'd be interesting to try. And then anytime I can select travel sachets of shampoo and conditioner when I check out at Sephora, I always, always get them because they come in so handy for travel. So this time I got the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner sachet. I also restocked on my favorite hair gel. The Crown Affair hair gel is incredible. It smells so good. It's water-based. It leaves my hair feeling silky and it's not crunchy at all. At the end of the day, you can brush your hair out and it doesn't, it's not flaky or crunchy at all. But at the same time, when I do a sleek ponytail with the hair gel in my hair, it lasts amazing all day. It tames frizz. It just looks like a beautiful, sleek hairstyle, but you can brush it out at the end of the day. So had to restock because I'm running dangerously low of the bottle that I have in the bathroom. Again, this is a product that I share with my husband. Cannot recommend it enough. If you like a sleek hairstyle and you want to dabble into hair gel, but you're not you don't like those, the pomades, you don't like, you know, the pomade sticks or the traditional old school crunchy hair gels, give this a try because it's amazing. The finishing gel from Crown Affair, highly, highly recommend. I also really love the Crown Affair dry shampoo. Another favorite that I restocked is the Giorgio Armani eye tint in the shade 11S. This is one of my most repurchased eyeshadows. I've been buying this color for years, ever since it used to be in the old skinny tube with the silver lid. Do you remember that? This used to be called Rose Ashes, but Armani reformulated the eye tints again last winter, I believe, and they changed the shade names. So my old faithful Rose Ashes is now shade 11S, and I was curious about the, the new reformulation. In the time that I've loved this eyeshadow, it has been reformulated two or three times and I never really noticed a difference. But I have to say with this, this time around, with this reformulation, I do notice a difference in the formula. The color is the same and I absolutely love this color. I call this a my eyelids but better color. It's very, it's very subtle. It's like a, it's like a rose gold, it kind of melts into my skin tone. It's a rose gold with a bronzy, slightly green shift. It's very, very pretty. The difference that I notice with this reformulation is it's a bit more pigmented and it sets a lot faster than the old formula. So. I'm not able to use it in the same way that I used to be able to use it. I used to just dot it on my eyelids and then tap, 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 tap it in all over the lid with my fingers and I was good to go. Now I find that it sets faster than I'm able to, to blend it out. So I am wearing it today. I still love it. Like I said, it is that perfect soft sheen. I'm wearing something on my eyelids, but it's not like an in your face shimmery shadow. I still absolutely love the color and the formula is more long wearing with this updated reformulation, but I did have to adjust my application for the look that I want. So now I apply it on the back of my hand. I load up a brush with it and I love this BK Beauty 203 brush. I just kind of swirl my brush in into the, the pigment and then tap, 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 and buff, tap, 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 and buff to get a really beautiful, sheer, diffused application. And then I can build it up in layers as needed. But yeah, I just, when I try to use it how I used to use it, you know, dabbing it straight on my eyelid and then using my fingers, it looks patchy. So I don't know, maybe it's just also my eyelids have changed as I'm aging 
but I definitely noticed that this is more pigmented and it sets faster than it used to, but the color is still incredible. The color hasn't changed at all. I was able to make it work. Like this is, this is a look that I absolutely love with this eyeshadow. The last thing that I bought, the one new thing I got to try is the Extreme Cream from In Beauty Project. I've been meaning to try something from this brand for so long. They also just launched a mineral sunscreen that looks incredible, but it's glowy. We're heading into summer. My skin is more on the oily side, so maybe I'm going to wait until the fall VIB sale to try the glowy mineral sunscreen, but I was in the market for a new moisturizer that I can use in the evenings. I heard great things about this. It's at a really reasonable price point and uh, it's a firming moisturizer, a firming and lifting moisturizer. So this is definitely geared more towards aging skin. Visibly firmer, lifted and smoother skin infused with plant-based bioretinol peptides and three times ceramide complex. Another cool thing about it is that this bottle is refillable and it's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I'm looking forward to using this on my face, on my neck, and on my chest in the evening. Doesn't smell like anything. The texture is really, it's really nice. It's rich, but it's silky. It's not greasy. I think if you have drier skin, you can use this morning and night. I think for my fellow combo oily friends, this would be more of, a, of an evening moisturizer for us, but wow, the texture is beautiful. And if you're acne prone, this has no pore cloggers in it. So it's acne safe, which is great. And yeah, I've been looking for sl something slightly richer. I still love and I still recommend the Dew, um, oh my God, what's it called? The Dew Air Angel, that's my go-to morning moisturizer. It's a beautiful, lightweight, super hydrating gel moisturizer. You can also get it at Sephora. Okay, I just had to do an addendum here because this is another case of packaging being really misleading. The Dew Air Angel, which is the moisturizer I was just talking about, my go-to daytime moisturizer, is 75 milliliters. So it actually has more than the Extreme Cream the extreme cream is 50 milliliters and look how much bigger the bottles the bottle is and it's so much heavier because this is glass i'm pretty sure this is glass or super heavy plastic the dew is just really lightweight aluminum but it's crazy it's like twice as big and heavy and it actually has less less product in it so the more you know. This is beautiful. I really like this texture. I don't mind a richer moisturizer as long as it doesn't leave a greasy residue. And this seems to fit the bill. It's, it's plush and moisturizing, but it's not greasy. I'll be, I'll be reporting back, but I have yet to see a bad review of this moisturizer, which is really encouraging. And like I said, the price point is, is good. I like that there is a refill option. And that's about it. That concludes my Sephora Spring 2024 VIB sale haul. And it's all stuff that I'm really, really excited about. Stuff that I really love, even though there isn't that much snazzy new stuff, I feel really excited and happy about everything that I bought, which I think is a good sign. That's, that's always the goal, right? The sale is still going on until April 15th. Um, I don't think I'm going to order anything else, but if I do, I'll, I'll shout it out on Instagram, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with the current lineup and I am dying to know what you bought in the Sephora sale. That's my favorite thing about Sephora sale season. I am nosy and I want to know what people are actually buying, what's in people's carts. What are you actually spending your hard earned money on? That's the content that I want to absorb during Sephora sale season. So if you're up for it, share what you got in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.